everybody. Hello, I'm Joanna. And I'm James. And today we're going to show you the wonderful Catherine Waltz. Or the Waltz Catherine, if you notice, it's that way around. So this was a dance from 1956 uh, by Mr Shaw, I think it was. And we're going to take you through some of those steps. Actually, this is a really lovely sequence dance to know because it's largely based on basic waltz. So any steps that we show you in the Catherine Waltz, you can take them and you can put them in your normal waltz choreography as well. So uh, hopefully you'll find it quite useful. It's a lovely sequence dance too, it's got a nice flow to it. So we're going to make a start. Yes, so we're going to divide it in three parts. And section one is going to have two underturn reverse turns or left turns. Mm. You know them less like work to do than normal, we like that. A little bit less. <laughs> so if you imagine this is our line of dance, that's what we're going to be dancing. We're going to start with the leaders facing diagonally into the centre. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, leaders, you're going to start with your left foot forwards, followers right foot back, and we start turning left. So you go step, turn left, side, close, step, turn left, side, close. Now we repeat those um, two steps again. So leaders, left foot forwards, followers right foot back, step, turn left, side, close, step, turn left, side, close. So at the end um, of those left turns, leaders, you'll be facing diagonally wall. Right, from here, we're going to dance a passing change. So leaders, left foot forwards, followers, right foot back. This is quite easy. Leaders, you just dance three steps forwards and followers three steps backwards. And leaders, on the last step, you prepare to step outside partner. So we go one, two, three. And now you can see, um, James, if you want your legs, there you go. He's going to step outside partner for the following step. There you go. Right, shall we try from the beginning? <laughs> Right. So, far, so, good. so leaders, you're going to start facing that way. After reverse turns, you're going to be facing that way. Okay, for the passing change. Let's go from beginning. So leaders, left foot forwards, followers, right foot back. Here we go. Step, turn, side, close. Step, turn, side, close. Again, step, turn, side, close. Step, turn, side, close. Now passing change, three forward steps for the leaders, three backward steps for the followers. And one two, three. And for the next step, leaders, you will start outside partner. Over there. Okay, we're just going to do it one more time for you without stopping. Okay, leaders left, followers right, and step, turn left, side, change weight, step, turn left, side, change weight. Again, step, turn left, side, change weight, step, side, change weight, passing change, one, two, three. Very good. Shall we show you from the other angle? Yeah, let's have another view as well. That would be good. So, if you start over here, if this is the line of dance, leaders, you face towards the centre first. Leaders left, followers right, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Passing change, one, two, and then I'll say partner step for the next step. Okay, did you get that? One more time from this direction? Okay. Okay, are you ready? Lead us left foot forwards, follow us right foot back. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Passing change, one, two, three, and one. Excellent. So keep practicing that little section first. And then after that, what are we going to dance? Part two. <laughs> <laughs> part two, a little bit more complicated than part so one. So for part two, we need to use our natural spin turn. Now, some of you might have only ever danced this in a corner because it works really well in the corner, great choreography for our corners. We're gonna dance our natural spin turn now to continue down the line of dance. So we need perhaps a little bit more rotation than we're used to if you're used to underturning it for our corner. So we'll show you what we mean. We're gonna start from the outside partner step where we finished the previous section one. And we're going to dance three steps first, turning to the right. One, two, three. And then we've got our pivoting action, pivoting down the room with a little brush for the followers. One, two, three. All the way around, so those steps have continued to go down our line of dance. We'll show you that one more time. 
So picking it up again from the outside partner step into the natural turn. So we've got one, two, three, then the spin, one, two, three. All the way around. So leaders, make sure you're facing diagonally to the wall against the line of dance. So you'll be traveling backwards into the next step with your right foot. Okay, we're gonna shut out the other way around so you get the different view as well. So it's leaders forward on the right foot, followers backwards on the left foot. Leaders, you're going outside partner into this second section. So we've got turn, side, close, spin, spin, brush, spin. Okay, now if you survive the spin turn really well, congratulations. Hey. From that position where you finish, we're just gonna back up to give ourselves a little bit more space here. Leaders, you had the right foot free, followers the left foot free. We're going to dance step, side and close. Leaders going back, the followers forwards making a quarter turn to the left for step, side and close. So now we're actually facing the direction that we were originally when we were coming along the route, okay? This is quite a small space for us to fit it in. So you might imagine normally our Catherine Walls one complete section would go completely down the side of our ballroom. In this little space, we're gonna try and fit the whole thing later for you as well. We're gonna be a little bit more compact so we won't stretch our legs so much. So we show you that spin turn with a three steps turning to the left from this position on, on the end as well. Turning right first, leader's right foot, follower's left foot. We've got turn, side, change, spin turn, one, two, three, turning left, side, change. We just fit it in there. Okay. Did. We'll show that in the other direction as well, just to prove it wasn't first time lucky for us. <laughs> so we've got turning right, side, change, spin turn, one, two, three, turning left, side, close. Very good so far. Right, there's a little bit more here. We're we gonna save that for the next section or should we do that bit now? Keep going. We're gonna do that bit now as well. So from where we finished, we're now gonna dance a whisk, a wing, and a telemark. <laughs> <laughs> so our whisk first, you can review some of these figures in our previous basic waltz videos. Our whisk is leader's left foot forward, follower's right foot back. We've got step, side and cross behind, arriving in promenade position. For the wing leaders, it's one step. For the followers, we've got three. One, two, three. Finishing left side front together, left side front. And then leaders, your forward left foot, outside partner on the left side. Followers back with right foot into your heel turn for our closed telemark. One, two, three. All the way round. So leaders, you're ready now to step forward outside partner with your right leg. Followers, you've got that left foot free, ready to step backwards. That was quite a lot, wasn't it? It was. We'll do that bit again, I think. <laughs> so we had a whisk, a wing, and then our closed telemark. It starts leaders left foot forwards, followers right foot back. We've got whisk, two, three, wing, two, three, and telemark, two, three, and then leaders, you be ready with the right foot. There you are, it's free, followers with the left foot. Okay, we'll show you that same bit in the other direction. So whisk first, we've got whisk, two, three, wink, two, three, telemark, two, three. And hopefully you've made it all the way around and then we've got leaders right and followers left foot free. We'll do that in the same direction one more time. So it's whisk first, we've got whisk, two, three, wink, two, three, Telemark, two, three. So obviously when you've got a little bit more space, you can add a bit more flow and momentum into those steps like you normally would do with your basic waltz as well. We've got to combine that with our previous bit for our section two, and that was our nice spin turn, and then quarter turn left out of the spin turn. So we're gonna try and make it fit like some magic miracle into this tiny space here. We're starting outside partner into the spin turn, we're gonna make it nice and small. Turning right, side, change. Then the spin, 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 spin. Turning left, side, change. Then our whisk, side, change. Wing, two, three. The telemark, two, three. And we had room to spare, look at that. We'll do that again in the other direction. Let's see how we get on in this direction, Joanna. 
So we're ready to start outside partner leaders. Right turn into the spin and turn, side, change, spin, 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 step, turn, side, chain, whisk, two, three, wing, two, three, telemark, two, three. Did you make it? Did you fit it? It's amazing what you can fit in in a small space, actually. So if ever you think, oh, no, this dance is too big to practice at home, get it going in a tiny little space, and it really does you some good sometimes as well. Where you're on full-blown stretch in the ball, and then you can move it out a little bit more once we know what we're doing. So we've had section one and section two. What could possibly come next, I wonder? <laughs> section three. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last section, though. Oh, all right. So section three will start with the spin turn again, but this time we'll, we will under turn it, so turn slightly less, as if you're dancing into the corner. Mm -hmm. I will show you what we mean. So we start outside partner again for the leaders right foot forwards, follows left foot back, so we dance three steps turning right, and then our three spinning steps, slightly less turn this time, one, two, three, only up to there, and then we're going to dance uh, checks. Checks to the left and check to the right. So leaders, you dance backward side, a little forward step outside partner. Followers, you dance forward side, a little step backwards. So step, side, leaders, you go outside, followers back. And now you're going to dance the same thing the other direction. So leaders, you go left foot back, side, and then left foot forward, outside. Followers, you start with the right foot. We dance forward, side, and then backwards. So leaders, you would have gone outside partner there. Okay, and now we dance, just dance the closed uh, change at the end, or close finish. So leaders backward side and close feet together, followers forward side, close feet together, aiming for the direction we started many moons ago. <laughs> so leaders facing um, diagonally center. Oh, thank you for that, yes, I need so my So we go, and step, side, and close. And this is the position we started our it was. Catherine Waltz. <sighs> Okay, did you get that? Let's go for it again, shall we? So spin turn we already know, we just need to do slightly less work on a turn. So leaders right foot forwards, outside partner, followers left foot back, and here we go. Turn right, side, close, now spin turn, two, brush, three, and then the check. So you go step, side, leaders outside, step, side, leaders outside, and step, side and close and you should be facing leaders diagonally center down line of dance oh. okay shall we show that from the other direction i think so yeah you'd like to see that okay so from here leaders right foot forwards outside partner followers left foot back here we go and turn right side close spin spin brush spin leaders backward side outside step side Outside and step, side and close. Very good. And this is the end of our section three. Wow. So one, two, and three, and then that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so now, as you might imagine, in this enormous space we have available, <laughs> we are going to try and fit it in. So we're going to start over there, and hopefully we'll finish while we're still in view over there. Should we go out of view, just rewind the video and you'll know what comes next anyway. You might hear a few bumps and crashes, but we'll try our best. <laughs> so let's have a little go, Joanna, and see if we can sort it out. So we're into our left turns first. Turning left, a little bit under turn from what we're used to in the left turn. We've got step, side, change, step, side, then we repeat it. Step, side, change, step, side, change. Then our passing change, one, two, three. Then we're ready to go into our first spin turn. Leaders outside, partner, right foot forward. Followers left foot back. Turn, side, change all the way around. One, two, three. Okay, we are gonna shuffle back up a little bit just so we can fit it in here. And then we're ready to dance that little bit of left turn with the leaders right foot back, the followers left foot forward. Step, turn, side, change. And now we're into our whisk our wing, and our closed telemark. Whisk, two, three, wing, two, three, telemark, two, three. Then we're into our second spin turn, turn, side. Change not too much turn this time, just so we face up and down the room. Outside, step, 
side, outside, step, side, close. And then we'd be ready to start it again. Yay, we made it. Just about. Should we show you in the opposite direction as well? I think we better have, haven't we? So we're going to go this way this time. So we're starting into those left turns again, turning left, side, change, step, side, we do it again, turning left, side, change, step, side, passing, change, one, two, three, turn into the first spin turn, spin, spin, all the way round, step, side, now we're into the whisk, whisk, side, cross behind, wing, two, three, the telemark, two, Three, turn, into spin turn, just to face up and down the room this time. And then there's little checks one way, little check the other way. Bob's your uncle. He might not be, but I'm sure that was very good anyway. <laughs> so we've shown it in both directions. If I was you, if this is new for you, pause the video there, just have a little review of those directions and see if you've got those bits and pieces, particularly if some of those figures are new for you in waltz. So if you haven't come across them before, you might want to have a little review before you get them going. There's a few tricky places, promenade position, back to normal position, outside partner steps as well. Make sure you know where they all fit because it makes quite a big difference, doesn't it, to how we it dance. It does. Right, there's nothing else for it, except we're going to try and put it together with some music here. This would be a miracle if we can fit it in this space, but we're gonna have a go. So we'll start over here. If we set ourselves up in our nice ballroom holds again, ready to start it, we're going to put some nice waltz music on and we'll count you in after three. There'll be a little introduction first. So wait for it, little introduction. So one, two, three, turning left. Two, three, turn left. Repeat, do that again. Passing change. One, two, three, turn. Two, three, spin, turn. All the way round. And a whisk. Two, three, wing. Two, three, telemark. Second spin, turn. Just to face up and down the room. Little check. Little check. Ready to start again. And there we would normally continue. We'll show you in the other direction. One, two, three, turn left. Two, three, turn left. Two, three, turn left. Two, three, turn left. Two, passing change. One. Spin all the way around. Whisk, wing, telemark, spin just to face up and down the room. Back to the beginning again. So there we go, everybody. The Catherine Walsh from Arthur Shaw. Fantastic dance. Um, we've managed to fit it in this very small space here, so it might not look as moving and certainly not with the full volume of technique that we're used to, um, but hopefully it gives you an idea of the steps. When you get the opportunity to get back in the ballroom and you can stretch your legs, really make sure those things are moving down the line of dance quite strongly, you'll have to obviously be guided by the couples to your left and right as you're dancing this sequence. It's always good to maintain your position in that sequence when you're dancing around the room. Good. Well fitted, Joanna. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And we look forward to seeing you all very soon. Next time. Bye. Bye-bye.